What's poppin' y'all? This your boy Bishop, back for episode 41 of Shit That Be On My Mind. If you like what I be saying, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, today, uh, Gail King then came on uh, the internet and made some weak ass apology and tried to throw CBS uh, under the bus. Now, she playing stupid. How can I say this? She's a seasoned reporter, media type person. You didn't just go into the interview like, okay, I'm just going to ask Lisa Leslie some questions and freestyle off the top of my head. You knew what you was going to ask. You knew what intent you was going to use. So you said what you said. Stand by what you said. Don't try to flip it and then try to smooth it over and then throw... Uh, CBS under the bus. Y'all both in the bed together. They your employer. Bitch, they just, they just gave you a raise. For throwing R. Kelly and Russell under the bus. So, bitch, don't play that game with us, man. Black people way too smart. I want to send a shout out, you know what I'm saying, to Lil Bootsy. I want to send a shout out to Snoop Dogg, man. Because they put the pressure on that girl, man. They put the pressure. And they had the heart. You know what I mean? A lot of industry niggas ain't got the heart. They're afraid to speak up because a lot of these people that control these purse strings are people who are connected to Harvey Weinstein, connected to all the Steens and Bergs and all the people who pull the purse strings. Y'all know what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So a lot of these niggas ain't going to say shit because they don't want to mess up their check. You know what I mean? Me personally, I don't respect it. Some people might be like, hey, man, they got to get their bad, but fuck all that. When something is wrong, you got to call it for what it is. That funky dog head bitch, like Snoop say, is wrong. And we don't accept your apology, bitch, period. We don't fuck with you. We don't fuck with Oprah. You going after all the black men. You got all these motherfucking white men. Matt Lauer. Gail, motherfucker Charlie Rose, who was your co-host on the CBS show, got some allegations on him. Interview him and interview the people who, 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 who made them allegations. You sat right next to this motherfucker talking about he was your friend. Bill O'Reilly. Ed Buck. All these motherfucking white motherfuckers, man. You do not interview none of them. You don't interview none of the accusers. It's like the shit never happened. But when it comes to niggas, they automatically guilty. You interviewing them. You interviewing the accusers. You making documentaries. All that whole ass shit, man. As a black man, I'm sick and tired of it, man. Period. And I'm going to speak out. I don't have a huge platform. My shit's small as hell, but I got a voice and I'm going to use it. I come from ancestors, man, who came across the Atlantic. You hear me? And made it. So I know I'm powerful. They can try to break me down and, and do what they do, but I know what I come from. I know I'm the original man. I know the black woman is the original woman. Don't let these people, man, with this money and this influence and this power have y'all scared to speak up. So like I said, shout outs to Boosie, shout outs to Snoop Dogg, man, for riding on that funky dog head, bitch. <laughs> hey, Snoop, I am still in that player. I'm still in That's my word for 2020, man, period. You know what I'm saying? But on a serious note, man, like for real, for real, man, we got to come together and stick together and call these people out when we need to call them out. Period. I don't give a fuck they black or not. If they ain't for us, they're against us. Period. End the story. And for us to move forward as a, a people, as a culture, we got to we gotta trim some of the fat off, man. That's like eating a steak and the steak got all the fat on there. The steak going to be good, but you got to trim some of that fat off. You know what I'm saying? Period. And some of these niggas we got to trim off, man. I don't give a fuck. Oprah and Gail, a lot of them, Lonnie, all these motherfucking hoes. They got to be trimmed off, man, because they dick riding, sucking these white men and these white men doing all the whole shit. Just like Snoop just put up on his Instagram. Oprah uh, brought some dude on her show 19 years ago. Not not 19 years ago, but some years ago. You know what I'm saying? Some some religious type dude. White man. Now he been found guilty and got 19 years for some sexual shit. Why Oprah ain't interviewing and doing a documentary on that nigga? But you want to do some shit for Russell on Russell. So again, man, we just not rocking with you, bitch, period. You can you can cut the apology and fuck CBS too. 
I don't have to watch that shit. So that's all I got to say, man. Y'all have a good day. Peace.